Hey guys, I have been camping at Rock Island State Park here in Tennessee all weekend. Uh, today, we well, I came here, I came to the campground to meet a couple of new creators and you can never go wrong camping here at Rock Island. Uh, today is Sunday, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm out doing a little bit of walking. I'm headed up to the Blue Hole Trail. So we'll hike down to the Blue Hole and show you some of the water flow that comes out of the side of the rocks there. Walking around the park from the campground is a whole different perspective than coming in here. We've always just drove from spot to spot in here. But I'm gonna try to do as much as I can with hiking. The, um, the campground is just right over there. We're probably, I don't know, maybe not even a mile to this Blue Hole Trail. Easy walk. Yesterday I walked up to the visitor center from the campground. It was about eight tenths of a mile, nine tenths of a mile. Not too far. But I am enjoying our spring like day here in Tennessee. Ooh, y'all, let me stop. Right up here, it's a sign of spring. We got some blooms, tree blooms going on. won't be long before all of these trees are full of leaves again. Looking forward to it. Here in the bottom at the Blue Hole Trailhead, they do have bathrooms and lots of public picnic areas. So it's a great little place to have a picnic. Blue Hole Trail is a half a mile down. You're gonna use extreme caution. <laughs> You can hear the waterfalls already. Out there is the blue hole. Okay, be careful because your steps are going to get slick here with the water splashing. Cold water. Watch your step here. Ooh wee. Come out here on this point. Okay, let's get back to our white blaze. So I'm guessing we um, okay. So both of these are kind of rough looking for a white blaze to be here. Yeah, you do have to use extreme caution coming down the Blue Hole Trail. Oh, look, this is fun. The water is flowing down and disappearing, disappearing into those rocks and then coming out from underneath the big one. Fun. Okay, here are our steps. Let's head on down. So behind me, you can see the, the river channel and that is the direction for the beach and the boat ramp here at Rock Island. 
So when you when the water level is up, it's summer pool, the water level is up, you can throw your kayak in down at the beach or the boat ramp and paddle up this way and see all of these waterfalls coming out of the side of the mountain. Yep, make sure you have waterproof shoes, hiking shoes on. <laughs> That's a new, well, a new sign for me. This may, may have been there for a while, but no hiking beyond this point. This is normally, we'll pull off in summer pool. We'll pull off in these rocks down here and come up this direction. these earlier. Whew. All right, let's get back up here. All right, here is this Eagle Trail. I don't know a lot about it. It's this Eagle Trail tree trail. So it was, um, I guess, an Eagle Scout project by Trevor Moore. Let's give him a good shout out. I don't know him, but he did it. So, I'm gonna walk along this trail. I think this, this is the tree identification that we were seeing up there. I think they've identified them down this Eagle Trail. Plus we get a rim view of the river. Last one up right here is Eastern Hemlock. They do have it marked and then they tell you a little bit about this evergreen tree. That is an awesome project. I just took a spur trail. Well, it was back there a little ways. Took a spur trail off of the Eagle Trail. There's another waterfall back there. It's low flow right now. I got photos. I'm headed up on the mountainside here, on up the mountainside, and I realized I didn't get any video footage of it, so I'll just have to pop in the photos here. This little eagle trail is pretty awesome. We're coming up on a, a bridge to get us through the bottom of the little gorge here. Another tree identification. I'm hoping this Eagle Trail will get me over to the, um, I think it's Badger Hole, which is just right up above the uh, boat ramp. So I just met some folks on the trail and they came from Badger Hole. So I know where I'm headed and that's okay. It's uh, getting me closer to the boat ramp. It's where, where I wanna go to, get down to the beach. Hmm. 
there is a waterfall there. Oh, that's the one we saw from the other side over there. That's this little waterfall right here. Okay, all right. See, I'm learning new things about Rock Island. We have been here so many times. But you get out here hiking through the park, just trying out brand new trails and you're finding new stuff. So this island over here is one of Scotty's favorite places to go. Because when you're in winter pool, you can't get your kayak up past those rapids right there. Unless you're really, really good and I still doubt it. <laughs> but he loves to come to this island, which it's, uh, you know, better down there. You can jump on the island, uh, beach on the island down there, and he looks for his fishing lures. He loves them. We were here one time. I forgot. We came up this little... I didn't realize it was Eagle Trail at the time. It's been many years ago. But we were here and we kind of stopped right in there where those rapids were up here above and the, um, like the, the Texas water rescue crew, they were here practicing because Texas is kind of dry until it's not. So they have to come here and practice doing water rescues. So that was, that was pretty fun. All right, here we are. I think it's Badger Hole picnic area. Brings you right up above the um, boat dock, the boat ramp. Here's our boat ramp. Ooh, it's busy today. A lot of folks out here. Boat ramp. We got our little sandy beach here. Cliffside over there. I think I'm hearing some eagles. We have seen eagles down here before. <laughs> lots and lots of buzzards. I don't know if you can see them flying up there. But sometimes we do see eagles and I thought I heard some just squeaking. Squeaking a little bit. I don't know if we still have the photos or not. I will try to find them and put this segment in the video, but we have seen the water so high down here. Of course, this is down in the very bottom, but we have seen the water so high down here that all you could see was the very, that, that very top tier of that building over there. And I don't think they ever rebuilt it. It used to be a restroom, and I'm not sure if they ever rebuilt it. <laughs> Here, we're here. Let's just walk up there. But that's a lot of water, y'all. This is this whole hole was full. That's a lot. So it looks like they are open again. It's been a while since we've had a water event like that. But hopefully I can find those photos and put those in here for you. So I knew they were down here at their campsite because I yelled, Ooh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all, I love these guys. It's my new friends. We have Banjo Barbecue. How are you? Yes, we have Hare's Last Resort Adventures. Yes, 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 yes. can see it faintly through the trees there, but there's Twin Falls. And then we're here at Great Falls, uh, the old cotton mill in front of us. This is a Monday. <laughs> there's no one here. On the weekends, on a nice weekend especially, yesterday was one of those days. It is packed out here. So packed they only leave you 15 minute parking in the front spots. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Great Falls. It's pretty low. It doesn't look like they're generating anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna buzz across the highway here over to the little castle, a little spring house. Look how pretty. Look how green the grass is starting to get. Let's get up here, a good shot of it. Let's go take a look inside. Doesn't work. Take a peep out. You see where the spring is coming out of the hillside over there. Rock Island is, well, all of our Tennessee state parks are pretty spectacular. But Rock Island is, and they have a lot of their, a lot of um, waterfalls concentrated here. So it is a great day trip, a great weekend trip, whatever you want to make it. Plenty to see here. Yay, the gate is open. All right, down in the gorge. So something else I've learned on this trip, we've always just called this the Gorge Trail because it goes down into the gorge. But I think, oh, they give you a little uh, video review here. Um, technically, this is called the Old Mill Trail. I don't think I knew that. So this is Old Mill Trail. It gets you down into the gorge. Uh, the Gorge Trail, the Technical Gorge Trail, I think is on the other side over there at um, Twin Falls when you, when you go around and park over there in that parking area. So I've been calling it the Gorge Trail for many years and I, I didn't know, I didn't know it was the old meal. When you come down into the old meal trail to get into the gorge, always pay attention to your lights and sirens down at the uh, powerhouse it's going to let you know if they're going to start generating back up top if you see those lights and sirens you start heading back to the top yesterday we took the blue hole trail down into the gorge down to the blue hole um, this rock wall behind us is all part of that, that wall that I showed you all the water rolling out of. And it's coming from where three rivers are dammed up back up here behind, behind Great Falls Dam. And there's so much water over there that it's pushing through, pushing through the rock wall. I think that's, that's pretty cool. It is man-made falls, but they're still pretty to me. All right, let's walk over to see Great Falls a little more up close and personal. Maybe, maybe we can get there. These rocks are slick, y'all. You got to be careful. Oh, look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ew, it's a mole. 
Oh. He may, he probably burrowed out from up there somewhere and fell to his death. Poor thing. Okay, you see our little overhang here. We're gonna shimmy along underneath that, maybe. We'll see how slick it is. Okay, pretty good footing. Uh. <laughs> I almost need my ice crampons down here. Almost. Woo. All right, I think I've made it to the steepest part, maybe. It's still slick. I'm still sliding around, so be careful. All right, we're going to get down here low. Make our way down here towards a little more level <laughs> oh that was close y'all all right at this point i don't see me making it it is just too slick i don't want to risk uh falling completely in the water but you can see we are a little bit closer it's just too much for me too slick the gorge is beautiful though, right? I was also planning to rock off the gorge over to Twin Falls, but there's a, if I remember correctly, there are a few spots that are uh, kind of along a little bluff ledge. And if it is this slick, I just, I just don't want to chance it. So we're going to hop back in the camper and we'll drive over to... Um, ooh -wee. We will drive over to Twin Falls. Woo! Y'all, this is what, I'm gonna show you. This is what Scotty has to put up with on some of our trips. Like if he was with me today, he would've done, he would've been way ahead of me. Cause I have to be, I have to pick and choose. I don't wanna hurt anything. So, ew. So we're gonna get low here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna get low here, and if we slip, we'll just have a soft landing instead of uh, instead of something major breaking. Because I would be stuck down here in the gorge by myself for a little while. Because I didn't give him a time I was getting home. And he would just think I was down here playing. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get a different perspective of Twin Falls here. I don't even know if I've walked this far down, on this side, I have on that side. A great little hiding spot, y'all. Well, I'm not really hiding, but it is awfully peaceful. You've got the rapids over here with the river flowing down and then Twin Falls there. This is the powerhouse over here. Oh, I forgot. There is, they put um, an overlook up on top of that hill up above Twin Falls. I completely forgot that. I haven't looked at that yet. I haven't walked out to it. I may have to drop back up there. We'll have to go look at it. This is probably the swimming hole I was remembering. All those ledges over there, you can kind of climb your way back out of the water. I wouldn't do it. I'm not that strong of a swimmer. But there's a lot of people that do it. And these ledges here, you can just kind of hang out on, enjoy a summer day. Yeah, look at all of that. was right past the visitor center, the picnic and play field area number two, I think is what the sign said. All 
Oh, here it is. So it looks like up here, I think is what I'm saying. That's where we just were. That's where the um, old mill trail started. And you can see this overlook from there. You can see a glimpse of Twin Falls right coming off the hillside there. In the summer, you sure wouldn't be able to see it because of all the green leaves. Parking for Twin Falls over there. Very neat. Water is a beautiful color today. The way the sun is shining in it. This is the little community of Rock Island, so I'll show you a little bit of that. One close-up glimpse of Twin Falls is all we have left on our adventure, on this adventure before Rock Island. I'm sure we'll bring you back. Oh, camera's up there, nice. Pointed at the parking area, that's really nice. But this gets you pretty close, really, really close to Twin Falls. And if the water is not too high, we can walk down into the gorge and You've got, you've got all the wind blowing off of the waterfall in your face, the mist blowing in your face. Pretty, pretty interesting. And here is our Twin Falls.